we are given a function f x equal to x minus a to the power m whole thing into x minus b to the power n on the interval a comma b where m comma n are positive integer we want to verify Rolle's theorem for such a function so let's write what we are given given f x equal to x minus a to the power m into x minus b to the power n. We have a function f x, m comma n are positive integers. Now, if you want to verify Green's theorem, first of all, we need to show that or we need to check that the condition for Green's theorem are satisfied. We know that this is a polynomial as long as m and n are positive integer and polynomial are continuous. First point, f is continuous, f is continuous. Why is it that f is continuous? It is a polynomial function because f is polynomial. Polynomial function r is continuous throughout r. So, f has to be continuous in particular in this closed interval. Second point, f is differentiable. f is differentiable. So, the given function is differentiable, reason being it is a polynomial and you can differentiate a polynomial. In fact, you can compute the derivative polynomial as well. Third point, we need to compute the value of the function at the end point a comma b and make sure that they are equal. Third point, f a equal to 0 because a minus a is 0, 0 to the power m is 0 as long as m is a positive integer. f of b is also 0. Therefore, f of a equal to f of b. Therefore, Rolle's theorem is applicable. So, Rolle's theorem is applicable. In other words, we can apply Rolle's theorem. Currently, we have just checked that Rolle's theorem is applicable. Now, once we know Rolle's theorem to be applicable, well, what does Rolle's theorem say? There exists by Rolle's theorem by Rolle's theorem there exist a constant c by Rolle's theorem there exist a constant c such that By Rolle's theorem, there exists a constant c such that 
f days of c equal to 0. Rho's theorem guarantees such a constant. So, we should be able to determine that constant for a given function. But, fx equal to x minus a to the power n whole thing into x minus b to the power n, m and n are integers. Therefore, f test x, we can apply product rule, first function into derivative second function, first function x minus a to the power m into n into x minus b to the power n minus 1. So, that is first function into derivative second function plus second function into derivative of first x minus a to the power m. Derivative of x minus a to the power m is m into x minus a to the power m minus 1. From here, we can take x minus a to the power m minus 1 common and then x minus b to the power n minus 1 common and you are left out with n times x minus a plus m times x minus b. Further, we have that f dash c equal to 0. We need to compute a constant c such that f dash c equal to 0. Let us try to compute such a constant. f dash c equal to 0 if f dash x is equal to this for whatever be the value of x. In particular, we can take x equal to c c minus a to the power m minus 1, c minus b to the power n minus 1, f dash c equal to 0 if we just write c in place of x, whole thing into n into c minus a plus m into c minus b equal to 0. Now, if I take c equal to a, then this quantity will be 0 or c equal to b, this quantity may be 0 a if m and n are greater than 1. However, that does not serve our purpose because we need a constant c such that f dash c equal to 0 and that c must be in between a and b. So, we have only one choice that is n into c minus a plus m into c minus b equal to 0. That is n c minus n a plus m c minus m b equal to 0. We can take C common n plus m, na and n mb, we can take it to the right hand side. So, plus na plus mb. Next, we can take n and m, n plus m to the right hand side. So, we have na, sorry, na plus mb divided by n plus m. That c is greater than a. This c is definitely greater than a and less than b. So, we have found such a constant c such that f dash c equal to 0 and that c is greater than a and less than b. Yes, Rho's theorem is true in this case. In other words, we have verified Rho's theorem for this function 
on this interval.